the Nisqually Basin Youth Baseball. It's been in the Yelm community for more than 40 years, as far as we can tell. Uh, uh, people remember playing in the league in the early 80s. Uh, that's how long it's been here. This year, the league is uh, 330 kids. We have Our youngest player is four years old, and our oldest is 15 years old. And we have 24 teams across six divisions. So okay. quite, a, quite a few people. You know, on Saturdays here, we'll have maybe uh, four or 500 people coming through. Last Monday, um, we had a job box that was stolen right out of this corner here. And the job box had pitching machines and generators inside of it uh, that we use for the rookie division, which are kids that are seven and eight years old. Uh, it's for when they're first learning how to hit before they go to a, a player pitcher. Uh, but anyway, uh, the city maintenance workers were here and they, they called and they asked why our job box was out in the parking lot. Uh, we told them that it, it shouldn't be out in the parking lot. and and before we knew it, uh, there was a uh, red Dodge uh, pickup truck that had swung through and picked up the job box and off it went. So, um, you know, that that was not quite the beginning of our troubles. Earlier this season on uh, field number two on the other side, uh, we had a generator stolen as well. And then you can see the sheds on each field uh, have been broken into several times this year. So uh, the, the latest theft was the most expensive, uh, but it wasn't the first. And so we're dealing with kind of a... Uh, problem uh, of recurring theft here at Longmire Park, uh, which is, uh, you know, I think the Yelm community takes that a little bit personally, uh, and we've seen that in the just outrageous um, outpouring of support that we've experienced over the last week or so. We've, you know, our, our video um, has been shared and then shared again and uh, thousands of times. Uh, we've had people in the community as far away as uh, Texas and uh, Seattle. Uh, call us up to offer support. Um, you know, we've had uh, local people as well. Yeah, the best way to do that is to uh, visit the Chipped In uh, site. It's uh, chipin.com at uh, NBYB, uh, Nisqually Basin Youth Baseball. Uh, and there they can just follow the directions and uh, contribute to the league uh, if they would like to help.